Good morning, students. Good morning, math enthusiasts. Today, we are going to discuss the answers to drill 4.8. Problem number one. We were given that measure of angle A is equal to 38 degrees and measure of angle B is equal to 52 degrees. Prove that angle A is complementary to angle B. So here is the proof. Statement 1. Measure of angle A is equal to 38. Reasons given. Statement 2. Measure of angle B is 52. Reasons. Reason given. Statement 3. Measure of angle A plus measure of angle B is equal to 90. And reason is addition property. Finally, statement number four, angle A is complementary to angle B by the definition of complementary angles. QED. Problem two. Raise AB, AC, and AD with C in the interior of angle BAD and with Measure of angle BAC plus measure of angle CAD is equal to 90. Prove that line segment AB is perpendicular to line segment AD. So from what we were given, measure of angle BAC plus measure of angle CAD is equal to 90. So we have to prove that angle BAD is 90 and then prove that line segment AB is perpendicular to line segment AD. So here is the proof. Statement number one, measure of angle BAC plus measure of angle CAD is equal to 90 given. Statement number two, angle BAD is a right angle by the definition of a right angle. Finally, our conclusion Line segment AB is perpendicular to line segment AD because perpendicular lines form right are formed by right angles. QED. Problem number three. We were given the figure that PQ is equal to RS. PQ is equal to RS. We have to prove that PR is congruent to QS or PR is equal to QS. Now as you can see, we can do this because QR is congruent to itself. So here is the proof. First statement, PQ is equal to RS given. Statement 2, QR is equal to QR by reflexive property. Statement number 3, finally, PR is equal to QS by the addition property. QED. Problem number 4. The figure with measure of angle CAB is equal to measure of angle CBA and measure of angle DAB is equal to the measure of angle DBA. Prove that the measure of angle CAD is congruent to the measure or equal to the measure of C angle CBD. So, we were given that these two angles are congruent. We were also given that these two angles are congruent. Then we need to prove that these two angles are congruent. So, statement number one, measure of angle CAB is equal to the measure of angle CBA given Statement number two, measure of angle DAB is equal to the measure of angle DBA given. And finally, the measure of angle CAD is equal to the measure of angle CBD by subtraction property. QED. Problem number five. In the figure, angle PMN is congruent to angle PNM. Proof. That angle CMP is congruent to angle DNP. So we can do this. We can prove these two angles by considering supplementary angles. So here is our proof. Statement number one. 
Angle PMN is congruent to angle PNM given. Angle CMP is supplementary to angle PMN by definition of supplementary angles. Angle DNP is supplementary to angle PNM by the definition of supplementary angles also. So that, finally, angle CMP is congruent to angle DNP by the supplement postulate QED. Problem number six. <coughs> the figure with angle DBC is congruent to angle ECB. Prove that angle ABC is congruent to angle CACB. So just like our previous example, we apply supplementary angles. So here is our proof. Statement number one, angle DBC is congruent to angle ECB because it was given. Angle ABC is supplementary to angle DBC by definition of supplementary angles. Angle ACB is supplementary to angle ECB by definition of supplementary angles. Finally, our conclusion, angle ABC is congruent to angle ACB by the supplement postulate QED. Finally, problem 7. We were given that lines AB, CD, and EF intersect at K and that A is equal to C. Now we have to prove that B is equal to C. So of course we can prove that B is equal to C by transitive property because we can prove that angle A and angle B are also congruent by the vertical angle theorem. So statement number one, A is equal to C given. Statement number two, I'm sorry that's supposed to be number two, a and B are vertical angles, as you can see, by the definition of vertical angles. In number 3, A and B are congruent because vertical angles are congruent. And finally, B is equal to C because of transitivity or transitive property. Q, E, D. Thank you very much. Remember, math is easy to learn when one learns with enthusiasm. Bye!